Right, this has been bothering me for days. How, how to get the air in to this plenum chamber, which is the main part of it is here. You might say, well, if I'm scooping air down to go into this area in front of the radiator, why don't I just use the front of this behind the headrest? The reason is, if the engine caught fire, I don't hot air rises, I don't want everything coming up and cooking the back of my head. So this steel plate will actually be extended up into here and it'll be a um, you know like an airtight gap. So the question is then how do I get air a big hole here? How do I get air down there? And so I've got to fill this area up with air, ideally under a bit of pressure. So I want some air scoops. So I've been cutting up bits of cardboard like this, you see. Like that. Like that. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to have scoops along here, but they're not going to start right here for the same reason I've got the firewall there. So they'll start back here. So that that will just come around like that. Probably taper in a bit here, and then we'll have um, an air scoop starting about here. So the next thing is how to design those so they're not too hard to make. And I can make them match both sides without it being a total nightmare. So I copied those bits of uh, these templates into wood, like that. So I've got something to use as a buck. Just put it in the vise. Then I've been using the English wheel, just on a simple panel, 10 centimeters wide. And so after a lot of fettling, I've come up with this. So basically, it's just got a bit of a curve on it. It's not too hard to make. Um, it's easy to make it a little bit over length when you're wheeling it so the end bit you'll cut off. I've left some tabs there and I'll trim them down but I'll just use some sticky tape and I'll show you how this works now. Right so the cunning plan is to have a set of these one two three four maybe five getting smaller and then a similar shape piece but not louvered, just coming down there. Um, and I'll have a two centimetre wide strip of aluminium along here following this line. That'll be held in temporarily with some self tapping screws. And then I can tack weld there, or plug weld, tack weld there. I'll trim these down. Then up here, um, so then yeah, so then I can undo the screws, remove that, having marked everything up here, because I want the air to feed into the side of this spine. This metal won't be here; it'll be just be a hole basically to let the air through. So I'll make some tabs here, cut them out of this, bend them up underneath here, and use rivets nice domed rivets maybe along there um, to fix these on and then I'll repeat the whole thing going down here I um, think that's probably the best way to do it right this is an exact copy of that one and of course I've made the basic mistake haven't I Tabs are on the wrong end. It's a mirror image I require. Fool. Anyway, I'll keep that because it may be coming useful for making one of the smaller ones at the back. Right. So if I've got six louvers and I'm probably going to have at least six more. Um, so I've marked it all out. Of course getting them symmetrical when you're looking at it from the back is pretty tricky. But it's pretty close. Um, so I'm just going to show how I make each one of these because I've um, kind of worked out a procedure now. So the thing I've got to do is uh, work out the curve. So if I mark, if I mark that there, and then same at the bottom.
there. Right, so we've got to with my compass, I've got to draw a curve from there round to there. So I'll do it with one hand. It can be done. Right there, you see. Right, so there's the piece I've cut off, so let's just test fit that again. It's just to get the curvature really, there. So you see how that now meets the line there and it meets the line there. More or less at least. I'd say the main thing is to get the, get the right curve. Right, so we'll put that in the vise. There, and then with the English wheel start working on these two panels so the, the panels are slightly longer than they need to be and they're 10 centimeters wide that's the main thing so I'm just going to wheel them till they bow and curve like that and also curve that way a bit and get the front edge then to fit that curvature right so Again, I'm not going to the edges partly because I don't want the edges to stretch and partly right so I've got reasonable curve that way got a reasonable curve that way that way it's similar the next thing is to see how that fits on my curveometer. So that's pretty typical, so we'll give it a bit of a bend. Right, it's closer, but it's a gap at the end, so now I just put it over my knee basically. So here we are off camera. bent it over my knee. Right, how's that look? Look at that, absolutely bang on. This template's a godsend because it means that you get a repeatable design. So as you can see there are my two tabs that will bend under. Now this is bigger than it needs to be because this was from the very first louver I did. So this cut will probably end up being here. Okay, so my workshop's getting messier and messier, especially as my shop vac's decided to die on me. So, let's cut these out. Right, so you can see I need to bend these under but in line with this line so the best way I've found to do that is this one put it in the vise line it up get the blades in by about a millimeter more than this edge and then just do that and then we do the same with that one does it fit Right, first of all my tabs are bent enough because if they weren't it would push the lower edge up and I'm trying to get my this tip to start about there right so you can see let's just put it on so what do we see we need to cut it back but actually this angle's wrong it needs to come back more like that so I need the pen actually so See the curve of that lines up with these two, three. Um, so we need to take a bit more off. 
and really we need it to bulge a bit more in the middle there okay so right so that's the other line there um, it's all fine I may take a tiny bit off to just bring it down to there now you can see that is pretty perfect I've made these two bucks um, it's not so much about the angle here as the curve um, so that bit pop out of the fairing and then it'll be straight and then it'll slowly run here curve in so I've got my panel cut this needs to curve that needs to taper or alternatively this needs to bulge out and that's just as it is there's my buck um, I'll see how it goes start with a rubber wheel put some curve on that way then I'll bow out the middle um, I might even try using my shrinking hammer you can actually put put like creases in here and then hammer them out and put creases in and hammer them out and that actually shrinks the metal a bit um, I've managed to get away with not using that yet but maybe it's a skill I should learn after I spend enough time building the shrinking stump so um, let's see how we get on so just put a bit of curve in with the rubber coated wheel so now I'll um, try and sort of get it to curve like that and see what it starts to look like right this is a bit of an experiment I've basically bashed it a bit particularly to get the end to come over like that so now you can see like there now I'm wheeling the bumps out so I've got the wheel not not really tight not enough to stretch it just to hammer just to sort of smooth down the bumps and then I'll see if that I mean it might work I, I wanted the end to curve in so that's what I've got so basically I've just got the just doing this one hand as usual I'm just doing this it's not pretty but you uh you basically smooth the bumps out so you don't have the wheel really tight so it's not stretching the metal if anything it's compressing it and see if i can retain that curve on the end and then i'll repeat repeat it again and see if uh, i can make it come in a bit more all right will it fit well the first thing i realized was that's fine that needs to be a little bit smaller because this needs to just taper in at the end so I am actually cheating, I've measured and fettled, been fettling this for hours. You can see... Um, there. So this end needs, needs trimming, but you get the general idea. My radiator has returned. Guy said it is made of brass. Um, it had some leaks around the solder joints here and at the bottom, so he's read on those. The core is fine. It's a bit bashed. Obviously, got some something's hit it. You can see where they had a, f a fan shroud mounted, um, and he's also repaired me my overflow pipe. So um, I've got a good radiator now anyway. Right, it's now many, many hours later and um, I've done a ton of work to get this to fit right. Apologies for the pneumatic drill in the background. Um, as you can see, I've uh, welded the tabs. Remember, there's a tab under each of these. I've welded those underneath and then I've taken the screws out and plug welded the screws and I've ground them down but they need they need smoothing more yet um, getting the angles here correct and the tail part correct has been a complete nightmare I'm trying to get the gaps here um, 
to be reasonably okay. Uh, it's a little, there's a little bit of uh, sort of twistiness to it. So once it's bolted down, the gap will get less. Um, this side's, if anything, slightly better. So in terms of fitting it, fixing it on, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, they'll remember there's a steel bulk head here that will come up and exactly touch this with a strip around it. So then I can use the quick, quick fasteners here and here maybe, probably one here into this strip. Maybe squeeze one in here or here. And then there'll be something at the tail, but I'll leave that one until I've actually made the tail cone. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that, although there's a lot more polishing and smoothing yet to be done. At the minute, I've got a pendulum attached to the tail because I'm trying to get it absolutely dead center lined up with the center of the axle casing. So uh, that's why that's there and then I'll, I'll mark it all out on the bodywork and then I'm going to use acetone to clean all the uh, writing off it um, I marked here I had a bit of a weird dent there so I've panel beaten that out so it flows better um, so it's just little by little but it's just taking me forever I don't think I'm ever going to build another one of these if I can help it in my lifetime